Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the Daily Read and this is for all signs for the 24th of October 2019. So I hope you are well. I'm just pulling an energy card and seeing what the message is today. Okay. We have Daughter Value. This is new beginnings in finance and career. Very promising. Yeah. I feel some of you are finding new doors or maybe where one door has closed, there's kind of like a window that's opening. Okay, let's pull an angel card and see what the message is. Angel spirits guides. Yeah, it's divinely guided. The cards are saying it's divinely guided. This is something that's just meant to be. Things have happened the way they are meant to happen in order for you to get some kind of new beginning in money and career. Beautiful. And finance, yeah, fina it's finances and career, yeah. Beautiful energies. Okay, let's pull the cards. What do we have, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay. Seven of Wands. And the chariot. Two of cups. The moon. What else do we have, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Yeah, we're the world. Beautiful. Very on point. Very on point with what I'm saying. And those two came out together. I'm going to read them together. We've got the Six of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Hanged Man. Okay. So we have the door to value. This is new beginnings in finances and career can link to where you're earning more money or where you are beginning to feel valued. You are beginning to do something that you really want to do. Can be in business and career. I feel this is guided. I mean, the moon can be hidden blessings as well. You know, it reflects the sun, the sun being divine, divine energy. That's why they say the moon is hidden blessings. Okay, these are really good cards, really good cards. Let me just talk you through them. So let's start with the Seven of Wands and the Moon. The Seven of Wands is when you're trying to overcome something, when you're facing challenge or when you found a situation to be challenging. It might well be you're in between careers, in between jobs. It might also be where you're struggling in a situation. It might well be um, you have struggled in terms of money and career as well. It's been a challenge. This is where you've been tested. You've faced, you faced your worst fears, your doubts. The moon, this is the, the tamed and untamed fear within us, things that we can control and things just, the emotions that really do get a grip of us, those untamed fears. Um, there's an element here of, of you're pushing forward you're not sure what's going to happen. I, I think there's a there's real hope, there's real determination here. But the moon recommend, represents lack of clarity. But it's somebody who is trusting their intuition when you have lack of clarity in your external world, when you're facing fears, facing doubts, when you still have a lot of questions in terms of how things are going to turn out. This is that time to trust your intuition, go within and find your inner resources to push through. Remember, in the seven of wands, each one of these wands is sprouting. There's a promise of success if you keep going. So it is very much about, you might still be challenging, you challenged, you might still be unclear how things are going to turn out. But listen to that intuition from within because it's guiding you forward. 
and it's guiding you to a place of worldly success. What did I say at the beginning of this reading? For some of you, I feel a door has closed and this is very much closure and it can be about when new a window opening or a new door opening. As one door closes, another opens in some respects. There's a window of opportunity here, I can feel it and some of you are now taking the steps to pull your life into balance with eyes on the prize a focus in terms of where you're going and what you want to achieve and there's a message here with the world card that you're going to achieve it yeah the world card is about success achievement accomplishment breakthroughs stepping through the end uh, stepping through an old phase of your life into a new phase which is why i'm saying when a door closes another one opens the chariot is about victory and success and all the while this is a card of cancer. You see this canopy here that is over the chariot. It's got all stars on. It is like the sky, the night sky of the universe telling you that you're being protected on this journey, which is why I feel divine guidance is here because this is something that you're being guided towards. You have the hidden blessings card with the moon. Whether you know it or not, and some of you aren't clear where you're going to end up, what the final destination is, you know what your hopes and dreams are. You'll know what you're working hard to achieve. And both of these cards are saying there's going to be victory, there's going to be success. You are going to achieve it. But there is a big message of have faith, keep going. Because I'm going to bring the hanged man, hanged man in now as well. Because you might have felt stagnant. You might have been it's felt like pushing water uphill we've got all this water energy here as well with the moon i feel some of you have felt like you've been pushing water uphill fighting an uphill battle an uphill struggle and not really feeling like you're moving forward but the hanged man is an interesting one to come out because he is still in his physical body, but his internal body is moving forward, seeing the long-term goal, seeing where you're heading long-term goal. And certainly the vision that the hanged man has is achievable because it relates to the world card. This is 12, this is 21, 12 reversed. And just like the hanged man who hangs from the tree of knowledge, whatever you are envisaging, whatever you are working towards, whatever ideas, inspiration, answers you're finding from within, it's leading to achievement in your external world. So there's a big message of trust your instincts because you are being guided with the hanged man. Sometimes the hanged man is very much about trust yourself from within, see things from a different perspective, don't sometimes approach things the same way that you always have. This is about looking at things in a whole new light, being open to new ideas, not just being tunnel vision, but allowing yourself to open up to new possibilities. And that's when I think you move forward. Uh, but it's certainly a message if you're finding answers. And I think some of you are releasing from stagnation because this is fast progress with the chariot. Oh, this is so beautiful because yeah I feel for some of you you're seeing things clearly you're getting perspective on situations I, I feel it's to do with your emotions as well I think you see the end goal in sight as well this is somebody who sees truth they see the path forward they don't allow their emotions to cloud their judgment in any way the Queen of Swords is somebody who sees things for what they are there's a clear vision here. You're getting perspective and understanding the steps that you now need to take to move forward. And there's a transition. I mean, there is a powerful transition. Some of you are moving away from choppy waters to just plain sailing ahead. And this transition is leading to a new offer and opportunity. Now, yes, that can be in love. With this being door to value, I feel this is an offer or invitation that you really want in money and career. Um, that is uplifting for you, uh, something that you're really, really passionate about, heart, mind and soul. And I feel you're being guided towards it. You're being guided towards it. Beautiful reading. 
beautiful reading. I do feel, and I'm going to say it again, as one door closes, a window is opening, a window of opportunity. So keep going, keep going. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a brilliant day and I will see you next time. Thank you.